Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, for a while now, we have been covering a ton of different stories and talking about how AI, artificial intelligence, is going to play a huge role in the coming beast system, the coming empire of the Antichrist. And the story I'm about to share with you is further proof on where we are headed according to the pages of End Times Bible Prophecy. There's tons of different sources reporting on this. I actually had seen it recently on Fox News as well. Uh, but this is recently in from Ed, End Times Headlines. Again, if you go to endtimesheadlines.org, you will find this story there. Recent article titled, People are flocking to an AI Jesus seeking counsel, wisdom, and direction for life. Let me share some of this with you folks. A chatbot version of Jesus Christ called Ask Jesus is streaming on the gaming platform Twitch, and it stands ready to answer questions from humans on anything from morality issues to the video game Fortnite to super-powered rodents, according to Fox News. Shown with wavy brown hair and a beautific expression accompanied by a calm, well-modulated voice, AI Jesus calls users on the platform by name and appears to consider with care each question asked as YouTube videos of live streams reveal. I am AI Jesus, here to share wisdom based on Jesus' teachings and help answer questions related to spirituality, personal growth, and other wholesome topics. AI Jesus can be heard saying in a video recording of a recent live stream posted by, to YouTube by Farah Jakari. AI Jesus answers streamers' questions 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even questions like, Jesus, when are you going to get married? Thousands of people are flocking to this AI, artificial intelligence, uh, Jesus, that speaks to you and calls you by name. And again, even talks to you about video games and will give you relationship advice. I was actually in the radio uh, as I was driving to work this morning. I heard on the radio on one of the stations they were talking about how cool this AI Jesus is to talk to. The deception is so thick right now, folks. You have people turning to an AI Jesus for gaming advice and relationship advice instead of turning to the one who can give you the ultimate advice through the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, immediately as I saw this story, one of the first things I thought of in the book of Matthew chapter 24, when Jesus' disciples came to him and asked him what the signs of the end would be. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 to 5, Jesus tells them some of the signs that would precede his second coming at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. In verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed, that no man deceive you. So the first sign given there is saying, take heed that no man deceive you. Deception. Well, that's happening, folks. Let's continue. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So deception, the first sign. And then we see here, uh, the second sign, many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and will deceive many. Now, an AI Jesus is no different, folks. We're seeing an AI Jesus here. And make no mistake about it, it is deceiving people. But what I also thought about immediately when I saw this story, I thought of what's coming in Revelation chapter 13. After the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, during the coming tribulation period, the first beast that rises in Revelation chapter 13 is the coming Antichrist. So the rapture of the church will occur 
And then in Revelation chapter 13, again, we see the first beast that rises out of the sea. That's the coming Antichrist. Um, after this, another beast rises. This is the false prophet, who's basically going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. And we see there that there will be AI, or artificial intelligence, involved in this coming beast system. In fact, in Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, this false prophet, this is what we see recorded. And he, the future false prophet, had power to give life unto the image of the beast. What does that sound like to you folks? That sounds like artificial intelligence. Let's read it again. And he, the future false prophet, had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. What do we see right now with this AI Jesus? It's speaking. It's talking to people. And we know they had a church service in Germany a couple weeks ago where, thou, uh, was it over 300 attended? And the whole service was conducted by four different avatars that could speak and spoke to the congregation. So it was AI avatars that conducted the entire service. Um, let's read verse 15 again. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he, the future false prophet, had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So this AI Jesus story that I just shared with you, this is not the image of the beast. However, what we're very clearly seeing is the technology is there, folks. And we're seeing more and more stories pop up about AI artificial intelligence. They're making these images. They're speaking to people. They're telling people what to do. People are flocking to these things, these avatars in this AI Jesus. So make no mistake about it. After the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, when the Antichrist does come onto the world scene after the rapture, and the tribulation period does begin during this coming beast system, the technology will be in place where the false prophet, when he comes onto the world scene, when the second beast rises in Revelation chapter 13, there's going to be an image. And like we read in verse 15 of Revelation chapter 13, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's the direction where this is all headed, folks. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. We see the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before this tribulation period be can begin, and we see these shadows being cast out, especially of the future image of the beast that's going to be able to speak and cause as many as that would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. We see these shadows being cast. How close is the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. This ship is sinking. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. 
He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell is a real place. It's eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I do not want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only thing that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.